This video is about using the biggest little word in English, F-O-R. For is the most prolific combination of letters in the English language, with hundreds of related words derived from Greek and Latin, and it has only one basic meaning. For indicates movement in the direction we are facing. In other words, it's the direction we are going in order to reach our destination. In our first examples, for indicates our direction, our purpose, our reason for doing something. Example 1. The flight for Los Angeles is now boarding at gate C36. This flight is going to Los Angeles, its final destination. 2. It's getting late. I think it's about time to head for home. The expression to head for literally means to turn one's head and go in a new direction. In this case, home. 3. Not knowing what to do, I went to a friend for advice. When we go to someone for advice, that is our purpose, the reason we want to see them. 4. This town is famous for its cathedral. The reason people come to visit this town is because it has a beautiful cathedral. 5. I didn't answer for fear of hurting her feelings. I didn't want to upset her, so I didn't answer her question. That fear was my reason for staying quiet. 6. We waited half an hour for the bus. Wait for means to have a reason to wait. You expect the bus to arrive. The bus may or may not come, but you believe it will, so you wait for it. 7. This knife is for cutting bread. You may cut other things with this knife, but its true purpose or function is to cut bread. Remember to use the ing form after for because the ing form is actually a noun made from a verb. 8. What did you do that for? You must have done that for some reason. So, what is your reason? What and for together means about the same as why. For example, I called you twice today. Really? What for? Number 9. My husband got lost because he wouldn't ask for directions. When we ask for something, it's because we want it. That is our reason, our purpose in asking. This woman's husband refused to ask for help and got lost as a result. 10. We've finally finished. Now for a nice, cool beer. Our job is finished, so now I'm opening the refrigerator and reaching for a cold beer. I'm changing my attention, my direction, from work to pleasure for that nice cool beer. In these next examples, for indicates the direction of our assistance, the person or thing that receives the benefit of our help. 11. We've purchased new chairs for the office. Our office is the receiver of these new chairs. 12. The doctor has given me some medicine for my cold. My cold should get better after receiving the benefit of this doctor's medicine. 13. When we saw the escaped lion, we ran for our lives. The lion could easily catch and kill us, so our lives would benefit greatly from running away as quickly as possible. 14. If not for you, I might have been killed. If not for you means without your help, I might have died. Fortunately, you were there and you saved my life. In these next examples, the meaning of for is doubled. Two people or two things change places. For, for. I give you B, you give me A, so A equals B. 15. 
How much do you want for this watch? This is a very common question when shopping. The watch is A, my money is B. This exchange is the foundation of doing business. 16. When you translate word for word from one language to another, the result often makes no sense. Languages have different grammar and word order, so if you translate each word from one language to another in the same order, the result will probably sound strange. 17. What does KG stand for? KG is not really a word. It's the short spelling of kilogram. The K stands in the place of the metric prefix kilo, and G stands in the place of gram. Together, they are the abbreviation of kilogram. The two letters KG takes the place of kilogram, but are much faster to write. 18. For every scientist who agrees with you, there are three who don't. Every time one scientist says yes, three scientists say no. A and B are not equal. Most scientists disagree with you. So why should I listen to you? In these next two sentences, for indicates A going to help B, and A and B are equal. So A replaces B. This means that A represents or supports B. Number 19. This new rule is very unfair, and I believe I speak for all of us here. I am standing up to protest this new rule. I speak for these workers. I represent them, and they support me because we are in the same situation. 20. Are you for or against the building of the nuclear power plant? In other words, do you support this plan? Remember that your tax money is going to benefit and pay for this power plant. In these next three sentences, this idea of exchanging A and B is further extended to include reward and punishment. If I do good, you reward me. If I do wrong, you punish me. You make me pay the price. 21. Our teacher deducts two points for every mistake we make. Every mistake has a price, and our teacher takes two points off our score each time we make a mistake. 22. I wouldn't hurt you for all the world. Even if someone gave me all the money in the world and told me to hurt you, I would never do that. All the money in the world is a lot of money, but such a high price would still never make me hurt you. In other words, I love you too much to hurt you. 23. For all his wealth and fame, he is a very unhappy man. He may have money, and he may be famous, but that has not brought him the reward he wanted, happiness. Please note the difference between the prepositions for and to. For indicates our departure, the beginning of an action. To emphasizes our arrival, the end result of an action. Compare the following sentences. 24. I'm leaving for New York. There may be stopovers on the way, but my final destination is New York. I'm going to New York emphasizes that I will soon be there in New York. Number 25. Someone shouted, fire, and everyone ran for the door. Run for the door means run toward the door, the beginning of one's escape from the building. Now, compare that with this sentence. When the bell rang, the children ran to the door and made a line. Run to the door means the children stopped at the door and lined up. This was the end of their running. Now, here is a review of the uses of for in today's video. A. For shows direction, our purpose or reason for doing something.
The bell rang for class to begin. The class is about to begin. That's the purpose of this bell. B. For indicates direction. Who or what receives the benefit of our help? Save a piece of cake for your sister. Keep a piece of cake so your sister may have it later. C. Double four. A and B change places because they are equal. She gave me her old computer for nothing. I'm lucky because I paid zero dollars for it. It was free. What does AM stand for? AM stands in the place of ante meridium, Latin words meaning before noon. D. A and B are equal, so A replaces, represents, or supports B. The service in this restaurant is terrible. For instance, I waited 50 minutes for my lunch the other day. For instance tells us that this one bad example represents their usual surface. Do you take me for a fool? Do you think I am stupid, that I am like a fool, that I represent a fool to you? E. A equals B. So one is the price of the other, either reward or punishment. The man spent ten years in prison for robbing a bank. Ten years in prison was the price this man paid because he robbed a bank. Now go on to part two to see more examples of Four. Thank you for watching and don't forget to have a look at our other videos at The Colors of English. Don't forget the quotation marks.